All right, welcome back to Every Day I Race. Today I'm doing another update on my turbocharged Kawasaki ZX-10R. It's getting pretty close to getting it started. Hopefully it'll start, but you know, it probably will, but you never know. So today I'm going to be talking about the uh, factory air temperature sensor. For the, uh, that came out of that bike. It comes stock on 2004 up to 2007 Kawasaki ZX-10R. It's a it's a good sensor, but <clears throat> I can't really use it on the turbocharged application for two reasons. First of all, the sensor itself is really really slow. What I mean by that is that it doesn't react fast enough to temperature changes, which is okay for a naturally aspirated engine, but if you have any kind of forced induction, uh, the ECU needs to know exact temperature uh, because, you know, turbocharger or a supercharger, uh, when it compresses air, it hits the air up. Uh, when the air heats up, it doesn't have the same amount of oxygen, so it's less dense. So, if you have a bunch of hot air going in the engine, first you're going to need to take out some of the fuel, otherwise your engine's going to run rich, and second of all, uh, you need to retard the ignition timing to eliminate pre-ignition. Because if you have pre-ignition in a force induction engine, it's not going to last very long. I can tell you that. Um, and the second reason I'm replacing it is because uh, factory setup just has a has a grommet. It's made out of rubber. It goes in the airbox, and it's not really. It would just come out anytime uh, you see some boost pressure. You know. 5 PSI, 6 PSI, 10 PSI, anything like that, and it'll just come out. So it's not going to be 100% sealed. So that's another reason why this sensor has got to go. And here's what I'm replacing it with. This is a GM air temperature sensor, pretty affordable, uh, and it's a, it's an open element. As you can see. There's a tiny, tiny element in there, which, since it's smaller, it would react quicker to temperature changes. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, and you can see on this one, it's, it's a lot bigger. So it would take more time for it to react to temperature changes. So that's why I really don't like it. And uh, that's why this one's going in. And the second reason is you can already see it's got threads. I can thread it in my intake piping and it's not going to come out with 5 psi, 10 psi, 20 psi. Whatever pressure you put in, the sensor is not going to leak and uh, it's going to work pretty good. Oh, and by the way, some, some people ask me uh, when I make changes. This sensor is not a plug-and-play if you're using stock ECU. It has different resistance. So if you try to put it in with the stock ECU, it's gonna, the ECU is going to think it's either running too cold or too hot, so it's going to be a mess. So it's... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the plug from my factory harness that connects to the sensor and I'm going to splice, basically I'm going to solder uh, this wire and this wire to the uh, factory wiring. Then I'm going to put it in the pipe, this is my intake piping, and then it just plugs in. And uh, I'm just going to have to recalibrate my ECU. That way my ECU understands uh, exactly uh, correct values. So you can, so the ECU will know if it's air temperature 
you know, the air temperature that's going in the engine is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, or if it's 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit, whichever. So, pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty good upgrade. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try it out, but I'm 99% sure it's gonna work. Really, really good. <laughs> A lot better than this, this sensor, which is made by Toyota. So you, you, you find these sensors on Toyota Corollas and Camrys. So n not exactly high performance car by any means. So and uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna try to make a couple uh, more updates uh, with the bike. It's been <laughs> it's been a slow up uh, progress. But, you know, hopefully it'll start in a couple of weeks, maybe. Maybe in a week. It depends if I have any time uh, to work on it. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.